boy, guess what we got today, finally. We've been waiting way too long for this. I finally got my rewire kit. So, we're gonna go install this and have a good time doing it. And then, hopefully, hopefully, we stop leaning out. I'm not saying we don't have an issue, because I definitely have an issue with even one Walpro 450 not putting enough fuel out. So I don't know if my return line's too big and that's my issue or what's going on, but like, if I have two 450s and it's getting lean, I have no idea what my issue is. But we're gonna start on this. We already ran those two wires, so we don't have to do that, but we have to run the battery to fuse, or I'm sorry, battery to relay wire, and then um, relay to ignition power wire. So it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, and I gotta go to Matt's to go pick up the loom. Um, let's go do that right now. Pause. I cleaned up a lot of this. So now I have to run my double pumper, obviously. That's what this whole video is about, but I have to wire in the second pump. So it's kind of creating a lot of chaos over here. I'm trying my best to do this in one shot because I don't really like redoing this kind of stuff. So I'm trying to take my time and do it right. I mean, I'm doing something to it, so I might as well get some clips of it, but more montage I guess. So now that I made all these apart, cause this, I, I mean, I guess these aren't terrible. What do you guys think? I mean, they're solid. I'm not actually, this one, I think this is ignition. So I should probably redo this one. I think I'm gonna redo this one. Um, but a lot of these are actually better than I thought. I don't think, I think they're fine. Um, but I'm glad I'm doing this just to kind of get them all in one and bundled all tight so it'll look better. But I'm gonna pretty much have another one of these relays right here, I already did that. So I'm just gonna have two more. So how I ran my hob switch, I remember, I didn't film this because it was really quick, but I have my hob switch up there that we were talking about right there, right there. My ground is grounded up right there, like on the trans tunnel, and then I have my power coming all the way through this out here. So this is the wire, one of the wires that has to go to that relay in the trunk. I have two more wires to run, and then I should be done with that. Head to John's house, hopefully get tuned, and have no more leaning out issues. That's the plan. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to drill another hole through the firewall because I don't have an opening big enough for um, my power wire from the battery, so I do do that really quick. Well, I finally cut my hole. I got that, so I'm gonna um, loom all these. That's why I got the bigger loom from Matt. Now that we got all of our wire pulled through the battery, what I'm gonna start working on is all that wires in there. So what I'm gonna start working on is taking all these uh, things off and kind of wiring it through the door, through here, and then wire it through here and then have it meet up with uh, all my fuel pumps and then go back to my relay. Little tip is don't finalize everything with wire until you know it works. So like, notice I'm not looning all this when I have it, but I got like my tape to measure sure, make sure, Make sure that's the right um, the right distance from that, and then I have to worry about that. And like, notice how I'm like leaving all these open before I do anything, because I want to make sure that it works. I got three wires done on the second pump. Now I just gotta run that ignition one, and then I'm done. I'll button everything together, and then uh, we'll see if it works. I'm done, but it's my first time, so done is like not done, but we'll see. Um, nothing's final, obviously, but there it is. I got all my wires going all the way down there. Everyone thank Matt for the loom. The loom looks really nice, because 
bat loom looks like that. So it's way cleaner. Let's try it out, see if it works. But I don't know if we'll ever hear the second pump until I go for a drive, which I don't think I'm gonna go for a drive, it's pretty late. I decided I'm going for a quick rip. It's a little late, but neighbors never mind to hear an Evo, right? I don't think my neighbors really mind. Uh-oh. So, it died. So, I don't know if I popped a fuse or something, but probably not going out now. sure helped 100% not getting lean anymore um, this thing moves like compared to how it was I'm so stoked oil pressures good I'm pretty happy like like I said I'm so stoked about grid life I'm so excited and now that this thing just like actually like likes boost a little bit more I'm done driving obviously um, I'm gonna go check if any of the wires are hot uh, I'm so stoked like I'm I want to end this video now because I'm so happy like I can't wait to go to John's and like get it tuned There's a few other things. I want to touch up before good life and then get the tune and I'll see you guys later Hopefully maybe the next video would be going to John's and ripping on it um, So stoked see you guys later. Thanks for watching make sure you like if you like subscribe Cheers to a great oh. Baby, baby.